Right, in this clip we want to talk a little bit more about adding information that you can use to determine, perhaps in this example, uh, whether noun and verb uses are particularly um, more frequent in a particular genre. Right, so in this example we have data from the brown corpus and from the extraction from the concordance program, we didn't get that information, but that is information that is often available on the web. So for the brown corpus, for instance, we have information on the genre, which is reflected in the file name. So in my version that I was using here, the file name start with the C, but then comes a letter and that letter corresponds to a category that um, was, un that underlied the corpus compilation of the Brown family. So if you had that information, that is relatively straightforward, so we can add that to the data. There are more, there are easier ways and more um, automatic ways to do that in Excel, but that's a bit more advanced, so we'll leave it to later. But I just want to illustrate a couple of things. So I think first up we can delete perhaps the randomization column that we had because we already have um, shuffled it and um, recorded the shuffling rank in our sample. So let's delete that, but then also to uh, insert a column uh, for a genre. The um, way to do this, I mean, obviously you could do that for every single instance, but you could now, of course, sort by the file ID um, in ascending order. So meaning that the first few uh, hits here are all from the genre A, which is uh, press. Um, and it will depend a bit on your research interest or whether you want to use a more uh, general genre up here or whether you want to use the subgenre. So for A, uh, let's press. So we can uh, drag this down here to A. Uh, B is also press and C is press, so maybe we can um, add that more general genre down here to C and then do the rest accordingly. Okay, so now we've entered all that data in some descriptive form in a rather uh, detailed fashion. If you wanted to distinguish just be between um, fiction and nonfiction, you could of course also insert another column with the uh, category perhaps or field, let's say uh, field, where all the A through uh, J would be um, nonfiction. and from K to the rest would be uh, fiction. Right, so sometimes you would have to do this um, slightly more manually, but you can use the sorting um, and perhaps even the filtering function in Excel to speed up the process a little.